Hello YouTube. This is the Gentleman Scholar. I know I haven't posted in a while. I would I would say that life is was busy, but it was busy for a while and also I'm really lazy and I procrastinate. So there's that too. Add those two into the mix and it's a deadly combo. But on the busy part, just to let you know, um, we were nearly taken in by a scam the other day um, by the computer. I say this only because any one of us could get uh, caught up in this there, but for the grace of God, go I. Um, it involved basically having to bring the computer down to the Geek Squad at Best Buy and having to scrub them out, scrub out the entire computer, set it back to factory settings, and now we have to uh, go to our local bank to like set up our accounts again, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. However, it's still better... Than losing twenty thousand dollars, which is uh, what the scammers were after, and they were really sly the way they worked it. But the more they talked, the more it was my husband speaking to them. The more I smelled, a, the more they talked, the more I smelled a rat. And so, before they could get him to do what he wanted to do, he um, cut him off. My husband cut him off, but unfortunately, their their stuff was still on our computer, so we had to get rid of it. So, at the gentle, at the gentle behest. Of Beer Beard, my good friend Beer Beard, who's a down to the bone and marrow Londoner, who's a <laughs> he's completely ignoring the coronation. Uh, he uh, he said, uh, "I'm I'm going to do a video, Gary. Why don't you do one, just so we can keep our hand in it?" So, all right, good enough. It said uh, that's all the prompting I needed. I'm I promise I'll do an actual pipe smoking one soon. <coughs> yeah, and um, oh, by the way. This shirt was a good as a gift from a good friend of mine. It gets comments everywhere I go. Old timey, old timey lumberjack guy punching on a bear, which you know would never happen. He'd slice into ribbons and guts and gristle before that would ever happen. But the bear would. Um, but still, it's a nice little. It's become sort of like a semi meme on on the internet. So, a friend of mine sent me the T-shirt. Didn't know what it was. I like it. Every time I take it out, at least one person says something about it. Last time was in Barnes and Noble. So. To justify my video today, it's kind of a yabo, an order that I did last. And I re-upped on a type of pipe tobacco, which I've never done before because I, I smoke at a very glacially slow pace. A lot of it, most of it in front of the, the YouTube the YouTube camera. But, um, but since I re-upped on a tobacco that I like, I can now figure myself to be an actual pipe smoker. And uh, Edward Hobbs kind gentleman that he is, he kindly said to me, well, Gary, you were, you know, you, you were a pipe smoker before that. It's like, well, that's great, but I finally re-upped on a brand that I really like. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, right? And I don't know en enough about my tobaccos yet to know what I like, but I know what I like, but I do know that I like the Norman Rockwell imprint. I don't know who's, who's the original imprint here, portrait. I think it might be Cornell and Deal. By N. M&D Wholesale Distributors. Anyway, I got myself some more portrait because uh, I just like the woody, nutty feeling, feeling, the woody, nutty flavor that comes with it. It's something that Norman Rockwell would smoke, and um, that's why I dig it. It's it's easy on the palate, kind of slightly buttery, but then I just I decided to try out the other raking leaves. I don't believe I've ever tried that one, so that'll go into the collection. Let's put that stuff over there. Not fishing. I hope it's not fish flavored. That would suck. Oh, another portrait. I think I got two of everything. Um, picking daisies. Don't know what that's going to be like. I mean, these will probably take me like a century to smoke through. And of course, something called Trailhead Cascadia. I'm not quite sure I picked this up. I think it was on someone's... It was on someone's recommendation I picked this up. So... I can feel it in there. It's it's a nice big wet block. It looks like, and also along with that, you got a free a free pipe. So let's get rid of that. What? Let's do. It. There we go. Hold. How's that work? There we go. Hmm. Looks good. It's gonna be good. In my collection. By the way, my collection is something I really need to straighten out. I'm basically a slob, I hate to say it. 
I dishevel, dishevel a slot. A clean guy, a hygienic guy, but basically still a slob. Um, they also, along with this, if you spent a certain amount, you got a pipe pouch from Baracchini. Keep us. So, so I'll probably put one of those blends in there. Why not? Put that back there for now. You also got a little pipe holster, which I'm never going to use. Um, and, a, of course, another pipe tool, which we can never have enough of. See there. You know, it's just one of those, your standard pipe tamper doodads so you can aid your smoke with. And that's about it, really. Um, I just wanted to... Let you know it's still live, basically, in case anyone was wondering, which I doubt. But um, some random thoughts here. Uh, I really, a couple people, okay, I'll, I'll name a few new people I've been kind of following, or relatively new. A man relaxes. He tends to post long videos, about an hour's worth. But that's him. He posts for the entire duration it takes to smoke his pipe, which is cool. So since I'm not just going to, you know, he wants, he basically... He's sitting there relaxing, that's his excuse, and uh, he invites you to sit there and relax with him as he just, as he just meander, you know, meanders and stream of consciousness, gives you stream of consciousness thinking about whatever's on his mind. He's a new parent, so he talks about his child and his family quite a bit, which I actually kind of like. I, I don't have kids myself, but uh, it's kind of interesting to see a person sort of discover the What's the word I'm looking for? Discover the dynamic of what it's like to be a father. Part pieces of your personality that flower outward that you weren't really ex expecting to be there, really, because you've never had to raise a kid before. So, yeah, that's kind of fascinating to hear. Along those same notes, uh, Shaggy Man... Shaggy Man... What was it? Shaggy Man 19... Shaggy Man 1929, I believe. He His, vi his videos are also down to... Talking about his family, you know, down in the South, just, you know, typical everyday stuff, you know, church outings and baseball games and everything like that. And oh, I just find it fascinating. I'm just glad that he, you know, he likes to share that with us because it's, it's normal everyday down to earth stuff, which I don't know, might be boring to some, but it's not to me because when you go online and everything, I'll call it the rageosphere. And you hear every, you know, basically all these voices screaming at you about all the wrongs and the ills in the world and who's right and who's not and blah, blah, blah. It's nice just to some, have someone like sit down and shoot the breeze to you about their family and what they're up to and uh, regular everyday average stuff, which I enjoy. You know, um, also, who else does that? And of course, there's also, um, there's also Mike. Between his old man things and his uh, YTPC theater, he's introduced Charlie, two, two new characters, Charlie Drzinski, I can't even pronounce it, but neither can he, um, and uh, the Brigadier Birdie, and uh, it's kind of fun to see him figure out the characters as he has them, you know, on his video. Brigadier Birdie is heavily influenced by uh, Winston Churchill, the proud old army man. And, uh, ha ha! <laughs> uh, so thank you, Mike, for keeping us entertained in these very stressful times. And really, that's about all I have to say. My everyday normal stuff is I just, um, me and my husband, I should say, we just finished up spot painting the, the, the deck, basically. We just scraped up all the old paint it hasn't been painted it hasn't been stained in two years because of last year's uh, hip operation and everything so we just basically scraped s scraped and then we blew we power blew all the crap off the uh the deck and then we uh used some leftover paint which had, which had been sitting out there for two winters by the way it was only slightly curdled worked fine though we just uh got all the spots that really needed it tomorrow we'll be going through and um Doing the, you know, it's like cutting in when you're painting. You cut in, you cut in the the frames and the edges when you start painting. Then, it, then you fill it in. Tomorrow will be basically filling it in. Yeah, today, yes, tomorrow will be like filling it in. Today was just filling up all the, all the cracks and all the chunks and all the glaring holes that built up over the last couple of years. But that is all. That's all I have to say. I have um, 
trip on Monday to an Austin, which I hope drops, as always, because I'm lazy. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm up to 10 minutes. I uh, look forward to seeing some of your pipe videos. Also, if you have a chance, I know I, keep, I mentioned him from time to time, go check out uh, Vincent Donnelly, the Mad Fisherman. I am not a fisherman at all, but uh, he's a jolly Irishman. And he always, he kind of, he vlogs his fishing trips and uh, you've got the beautiful Irish scenery and you've got the Irish crack, as they say, the conversation, the camaraderie. And uh, he's, well, he's joking around with the other fishermen and he's just basically a happy guy. And he wants you to be happy too, because everyone, his words, everyone has the right to be happy. And so we do. Use my cat. Hey, buddy. Use your boom boom. Anyway, I hope you folks are doing well and I... I will light one up soon for a video for you, I promise. All the best and cheers.